Today we are in the Maintenance and Operations Building at George Washington's Ferry Farm. I'm with Megan and we are going to be getting a preview of some of the furniture that will be going in the Washington House. Now, Megan, you've written in the blog about the furnishing process um, for the Washington House, but maybe you can give us a quick recap of what is going on here. Sure. So we went through a very long process of identifying original pieces, um, historical pieces that we think would have been similar to what the Washingtons had in their house. And then we commissioned furniture makers all up and down the East Coast to actually reproduce those pieces. Um, and then they are delivering them to us here for inclusion in the Washington House. We're in collection storage and it looks like some pieces have started to arrive. They have, very exciting. We've got a few already here on site. And as you can see, we are standing in front of a very red yes. bedstead. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in pieces at the moment. It's disassembled for storage. Um, the bright, brilliant red color, I think, is probably what surprises people most when they see this piece. Yeah. Um, this is not actually unusual, believe it or not. Low post beds, they were often made out of scrap wood, leftover pieces, so the wood didn't match. Mm -hmm. So they were often painted to sort of hide the fact oh, that they okay. were mismatched. Um, and the bright red color is a uh, natural pigment uh, ground in linseed oil. Um, so this is traditional paint. Mm -hmm. Eventually this, this color will darken and patina over time, so it won't be quite as red. Uh -huh. um, but it would not be uncommon for a brand new bed to have a brilliant color like that. All right. Now, Megan, what is this lovely piece of furniture right here? Well, that happens to be a very nice gaming table. Come and take a look. I love the scroll work. Absolutely. The it. delicate scroll work, the sort of delicate curve of the legs, the anthropomorphic uh, legs and feet. I mean, I'd say that's a pretty good representation of a beer's foot. It features accurate animal feet as the, as the base of the legs, which in the period was known as pied de biche which meant doe's feet. I love them. <laughs> it's a flip top table, so it actually opens to reveal a uh, base covered gaming surface and chip holders and places to put your candlesticks. And there's also even a secret little drawer underneath it that's revealed when the table is open. Um, so it's a beautiful little piece, probably would have sat in the Washington's parlor in the Washington house, and that's where we'll be showing it when it moves in. We've brought in a third piece. What are we looking at here, Megan? So this is actually a dining room table, and it's a very large oval shape. When it's open, it's drop leaf, so it's closed at the moment. And it's actually copied from an original in the historic Kenmore collection. So we actually had that on site. Um, the original is displayed in the dining room at Kenmore, and the reproduction will be displayed in the dining room or the hall of the Washington House. So there's a nice bit of symmetry there. Thank you very much, Megan. This has been amazing. <laughs> Absolutely, and more to come.